Now a health alert tonight on the heels of a lawsuit filed this morning by State Attorney General Letitia James against e-cigarette maker Juul. The suit is claiming Juul's advertising misled consumers by failing to warn the e-cigarettes contain nicotine and misrepresented products as safer alternatives to cigarettes. While health officials are working to identify the exact cause of the outbreak, the upstate New York Poison Control Center tells News Channel 9's Nicole Samavilla it could be linked to a potentially dangerous additive. It's a crisis. Concerns over vaping are growing, along with more cases of what doctors call popcorn lung. There was just that case last week where the um, young man had a double lung transplant. As more people get admitted into emergency rooms all across the country for vaping, the upstate New York Poison Center is being inundated with calls, more than 100 since August, which they say is significantly more than normal. There are 42 deaths nationwide related to this lung injury related to the vaping. In the past few months, in the past year, it's become more of a problem. Is there something new being used in these juices or pens? So that's the big question, right? What's the, what's the cause? What's happening? Some scientists now believe it could be vitamin E acetate, an oily chemical added to some THC vaping liquids. It's marketed and sold as a diluent thickener and it's the same consistency as, as cannabis oil. And then you inhale a product that is that has a thickening agent, there is worry that you're going to injure your lungs, you're going to aspirate it. So what is a safe solution? Does that exist? <sighs> you know, again, probably not, you know, breathing stuff into your lungs. Cigarette smoking, it can be years before you develop cancer. With this product, it, it, it's not going to be years. It can be a matter of, of days or weeks. And that's why health officials are working so fast to try to deal with this health crisis. In Syracuse, Nicole Somavilla. News Channel 9. And here's one way you can learn more. ESM Central High School is holding a forum tomorrow night from 7 to 8.30. Parents and teens are encouraged to go learn about the dangers of vaping and how to protect their family's health.